Okay. FM. It's um, playing on F3. Strong play position we're going. Sort of. Um, I don't think I'll mind Bishop F3 here. Well, I have weakened D4 a bit, and he's going to play on D4. Let me quick D4. Try and blast open the position a bit for the two bishops. So, how's the score in Knight's game? Uh, D1, D6 is a bit weak as well. Knight, Knight E4. I think that was a bit harmless. G7 is covered, so maybe Bishop just F3. Well, it seems pleasant. How do I break black down? Do I put more pressure on d6? Do I play maybe h4, h5, h6? He's going to play h6 when I get there. Oh, that's tempting. I'll try that. This diagonal, I just need to try and break it down. Alright, so he's weakening some light squares. Uh, you know, I'll just give him a look. Uh, bishop f5. Uh, oh god, what am I doing? Why do I allow this infiltration? Um, okay, okay, so what have I achieved? Some light square pressure, an advantage on the clock. Maybe rook d2, try and exchange off and bishop a1, rook d2. Um, <clears throat> I get the bishop behind the queen to go to h, the queen to go to h7. Perhaps. So, uh, bishop g6 here, just annoy this rook on e8. Try and get control of the e file, potentially. D1 in this position. Just going for an end game squeeze. I want to play bishop a3 and take c5 and get rook d7 in. Obviously, it's called bishops, but the bishop will not be that great. By bishop particularly. So uh, bishop c3, not bishop c3, rook c2, rook c2 looks a bit passive but uh, I'll keep the bishop for a while. Alright, let's think about this. And bishop d4 to e3 to disconnect protection of the rook protecting the knight. G3, I can take, king takes G3. Oh, he's just left his knight and pre. Well, that's good. I'll have that. <laughs> oh well, oh well. <laughs> it's a bit of a spoiler for the game carrying on. Maybe I was better there in the ending a bit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I let him play Shigorin's bishop f3. Didn't work out very well here. In that first Steinitz Shigorin match, uh, Steinitz did actually get the better of the Shigorin defence. Um, it was only because of the Evan Gambit games, which uh, sort of levelled the score quite a lot in the first Steinitz Shigorin match. So, um, okay, interesting. Uh, thanks very much. Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube.